The chicken is a domesticated red named glyph owl species that is originally from India. They have also partially hybridized with other wild species of young glyph owl. Rooster and cock are terms for adult male birds, and a younger male may be called a cockerel. A male that has been castrated is a capon. An adult female bird is called a hen, and a sexually immature female is called a pullet. Humans keep chickens primarily as a source of food or as pets. Traditionally, they were also bred for cockfighting, which is still practiced in some places. Chickens domesticated for meat are broilers, and for eggs, they are layers. Chickens are one of the most common and widespread domestic animals, with a total population of 23.7 billion as of 2018, up from more than 19 billion in 2011. There are more chickens in the world than any other bird. There are numerous cultural references to chickens, in myth, folklore, and religion, as well as in language and literature. Genetic studies have pointed to multiple maternal origin theories within South Asia, Southeast Asia, and East Asia, but the clad found in the Americas, Europe, the Middle East, and Africa originated from the Indian subcontinent. From ancient India, the chicken spread to the eastern Mediterranean. They appear in ancient Egypt in the mid-15th century BC, with the bird that gives birth every day having come from the land between Syria and Shinar, Babylonia. According to the Annals of Thutmose III, they are known in ancient Greece from the 5th century BC. Chickens are omnivores. In the wild, they often scratch at the soil to search for seeds, insects, and even animals as large as lizards, small snakes, or sometimes young mice. The average chicken may live for 5, 10 years, depending on the breed. The world's oldest known chicken lived for 16 years, according to Guinness World Records. Roosters can usually be differentiated from hens by their striking plumage of long, flowing tails and shiny, pointed feathers on their necks and backs, which are typically of brighter, bolder colors than those of females of the same breed. However, in some breeds, such as the Sebright chicken, the rooster has only slightly pointed neck feathers, the same color as the hens. Identification can be made by looking at the comb, or eventually by the development of spurs on the male's legs in a few breeds and in certain hybrids. The male and female chicks may be differentiated by color. Adult chickens have a fleshy crest on their heads called the comb, or coxcomb, and hanging flaps of skin on either side under their beaks called wattles. Collectively, these and other fleshy protuberances on the head and throat are called caruncles. Both the adult male and female have wattles and combs, but in most breeds, these are more prominent in males. A muff or beard is a mutation found in several chicken breeds that causes extra feathering under the chicken's face, giving the appearance of a beard. Domestic chickens are not capable of long-distance flight, although lighter chickens are generally capable of flying for short distances, such as over fences or into trees. Chickens may occasionally fly briefly to explore their surroundings, but generally do so only to flee perceived danger. Chickens are gregarious birds and live together in flocks. They have a communal approach to the incubation of eggs and raising of young. Individual chickens in a flock will dominate others, establishing a pecking order, with dominant individuals having priority for food access and nesting locations. Removing hens or roosters from a flock causes a temporary disruption to this social order until a new pecking order is established. Adding hens especially younger birds, to an existing flock can lead to fighting and injury. Chickens may occasionally gang up on a weak or inexperienced predator. At least one credible report exists of a young fox killed by hens. 
If a chicken is threatened by predators, stress, or is sick, it may puff up its feathers. When a rooster finds food, he may call other chickens to eat first. He does this by clucking in a high pitch as well as picking up and dropping the food. This behavior may also be observed in mother hens to call their chicks and encourage them to eat. A rooster's crowing is loud and sometimes shrill call and sends a territorial signal to other roosters. However, roosters may also crow in response to sudden disturbances within their surroundings. Hens cluck loudly after laying an egg and also to call their chicks. Chickens also give different warning calls when they sense a predator approaching from the air or on the ground. Roosters almost always start crowing before four months of age. Although it is possible for a hen to crow as well, crowing is one of the clearest signs of being a rooster. Rooster crowing contests are a traditional sport in several countries, such as Germany, the Netherlands, Belgium, the United States, Indonesia and Japan. The oldest contests are held with lung crowers. Depending on the breed, either the duration of the crowing or the times the rooster crows within a certain time is measured. To initiate courting, some roosters may dance in a circle around or near a hen, often lowering the wing which is closest to the hen. The dance triggers a response in the hen and when she responds to his call, the rooster may mount the hen and proceed with the mating. More specifically, mating typically involves the following sequence. Male approaching the hen. Male pre-copulatory waltzing. Male waltzing. Female crouching or stepping aside or running away. Male mounting. Male treading with both feet on hen's back. Male tail bending. Hens will often try to lay in nests that already contain eggs and have been known to move eggs from neighboring nests into their own. The result of this behavior is that a flock will use only a few preferred locations, rather than having a different nest for every bird. Hens will often express a preference to lay in the same location. Two or more hens may try to share the same nest at the same time. If the nest is small or one of the hens is particularly determined, this may result in chickens trying to lay on top of each other. There is evidence that individual hens prefer to be either solitary or gregarious nesters. The forms, the order of bird that chickens belong to, is directly linked to the survival of birds when all other dinosaurs went extinct. Water or ground-dwelling fowl, similar to modern partridges, survived the Cretaceous, Paleogene extinction event that killed all tree-dwelling birds and dinosaurs. Some of these evolved into the modern galliforms, of which domesticated chickens are a main model. They are descended primarily from the Redian glefowl and are scientifically classified as the same species. As such, domesticated chickens can and do freely interbreed with populations of Redian glefowl. Subsequent hybridization of the domestic chicken with gray yim glefowl, Sri Lankan yim glefowl and green yim glefowl occurred. A gene for yellow skin, for instance, was incorporated into domestic birds through hybridization with the gray yim glefowl G. Sonority. In a study published in 2020, it was found that chickens shared between 71% minus 79% of their genome with red yim glefowl with a period of domestication dated to 8,000 years ago. According to one early study, a single domestication event of the Rudyum glefowl in present-day Thailand gave rise to the modern chicken with minor transitions separating the modern breeds. The Rudyum glefowl is well adapted to take advantage of the vast quantities of seed produced during the end of the multi-decade bamboo seeding cycle, to boost its own reproduction. In domesticating the chicken, Humans took advantage of this predisposition for prolific reproduction of the Rudyum glefowl when exposed to large amounts of food. Exactly when and where the chicken was domesticated remains a controversial issue. Genomic studies estimate that the chicken was domesticated 8,000 years ago in Southeast Asia and spread to China and India 2,000 to 3,000 years later. Archaeological evidence supports domestic chickens in Southeast Asia well before 6000 BC. 
China by 6000 BC and India by 2000 BC a landmark 2020 nature study that fully sequenced 863 chickens across the world suggests that all domestic chickens originate from a single domestication event of red and glyph owl whose present day distribution is predominantly in southwestern China, northern Thailand and Myanmar. These domesticated chickens spread across Southeast and South Asia, where they interbred with local wild species of Yim Glefau, forming genetically and geographically distinct groups. Analysis of the most popular commercial breed shows that the white leghorn breed possesses a mosaic of divergent ancestries inherited from subspecies of red Yim Glefau. A word for the domestic chicken is part of the reconstructed Proto-Austronesian language, indicating they were domesticated by the Austronesian people since ancient times. Chickens, together with dogs and pigs, were carried throughout the entire range of the prehistoric Austronesian maritime migrations to island Southeast Asia, Micronesia, island Melanesia, Polynesia, and Madagascar, starting from at least 3000 BC from Taiwan. These chickens might have been introduced during pre-Columbian times to South America via Polynesian seafarers, but evidence for this is still putative. Middle Eastern chicken remains go back to a little earlier than 2000 BC in Syria. They reached Egypt for purposes of cockfighting about 1400 BC and became widely bred in Egypt around 300 BC. Phoenicians spread chickens along the Mediterranean coasts as far as Iberia. During the Hellenistic period, in the southern Levant, chickens began to be widely domesticated for food. This change occurred at least 100 years before domestication of chickens spread to Europe. The first pictures of chickens in Europe are found on Corinthian pottery of the 7th century BC. Chickens reached Europe circa 100 BC breeding increased under the Roman Empire and reduced by the Middle Ages. Genetic sequencing of chicken bones from archaeological sites in Europe revealed that in the High Middle Ages chickens became less aggressive and began to lay eggs earlier in the breeding season. Three possible routes of introduction into Africa around the early 1st millennium AD could have been through the Egyptian Nile Valley, the East Africa Roman Greek or Indian trade, or from Carthage and the Berbers, across the Sahara. The earliest known remains are from Mali, Nubia, East Coast and South Africa and date back to the middle of the first millennium AD. Domestic chicken in the Americas before Western contact is still an ongoing discussion, but blue-egged chickens, found only in the Americas in Asia, suggest an Asian origin for early American chickens. A lack of data from Thailand, Russia, the Indian subcontinent, Southeast Asia and Sub-Saharan Africa makes it difficult to lay out a clear map of the spread of chickens in these areas. Better description and genetic analysis of local breeds threatened by extinction may also help with research into this area. An unusual variety of chicken that has its origins in South America is the Aracana, bred in southern Chile by the Mapuche people. Aracanas lay blue-green eggs. Additionally, some Aracanas are tailless and some have tufts of feathers around their ears. It has long been suggested that they predate the arrival of European chickens brought by the Spanish and are evidence of pre-Columbian trans-Pacific contacts between Asian or Pacific Oceanic peoples, particularly the Polynesians, and South America. In 2007, an international team of researchers reported the results of their analysis of chicken bones found on the Araco Peninsula in south-central Chile. Dicarbon dating suggested that the chickens were pre-Columbian, and DNA analysis showed that they were related to prehistoric populations of chickens in Polynesia. These results appear to confirm that the chickens came from Polynesia and that there were trans-Pacific contacts between Polynesia and South America before Columbus' arrival in the Americas. More than 50 billion chickens are reared annually as a source of meat and eggs. In the United States alone, more than 8 billion chickens are slaughtered each year for meat, and more than 300 million chickens are reared for egg production. The vast majority of poultry is raised in factory farms. 
According to the World Watch Institute, 74% of the world's poultry meat and 68% of eggs are produced this way. An alternative to intensive poultry farming is free-range farming. Friction between these two main methods has led to long-term issues of ethical consumerism. Opponents of intensive farming argue that it harms the environment, creates human health risks and is inhumane. Advocates of intensive farming say that their highly efficient systems save land and food resources owing to increased productivity. And that the animals are looked after in state-of-the-art environmentally controlled facilities. Chickens farmed for meat are called broilers. Chickens will naturally live for six or more years, but broiler breeds typically take less than six weeks to reach slaughter size. A free-ranger organic broiler will usually be slaughtered at about 14 weeks of age. Chickens farmed primarily for eggs are called layer hens. In total, the UK alone consumes more than 34 million eggs per day. Some hen breeds can produce over 300 eggs per year, with the highest authenticated rate of egg laying being 371 eggs in 364 days. After 12 months of laying, the commercial hen's egg laying ability starts to decline to the point where the flock is commercially unviable. Hens, particularly from battery cage systems, are sometimes infirm or have lost a significant amount of their feathers, and their life expectancy has been reduced from around 7 years to less than 2 years. In the UK and Europe, laying hens are then slaughtered and used in processed foods or sold as soup hens. In some other countries, flocks are sometimes force molted rather than being slaughtered to reinvigorate egg laying. This involves complete withdrawal of food for 7, 14 days or sufficiently long to cause a body weight loss of 25 to 35 percent, or up to 28 days under experimental conditions. This stimulates the hen to lose her feathers, but also reinvigorates egg production. Some flocks may be force molted several times. In 2003, more than 75% of all flocks were molted in the US.